Hello everyone. Welcome to the series of statistics. This is Dr. Atman Shah. In this video, I'm going to discuss about the normal distribution. You can find more videos on statistics, SPSS and R Studio, econometrics and economics on my YouTube channel. So don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon. Let's begin with the introduction. Normal distribution tells us about how values of variables are distributed. So normal distribution is most important probability distribution in statistics for independent and random variables. It is also known as Gaussian distribution. So this distribution is symmetrical around its mean and hence it is bell shaped curve. So most data points cluster toward the mean while the rest taper off symmetrically toward either extreme. So values near the mean occur more frequently than the values that are farther away from the mean. So that is the idea of normal distribution. Now, what are the characteristics? The value of the mean, median and mode are exactly same. And the distribution is symmetric about the mean. That means half the values fall below the mean and half above the mean. Now, the distribution can be described by two values. The mean, that is a location parameter, and the standard deviation, which is our scale parameter. Let's, let's understand the idea of normal distribution with the help of example. So here we have the hypothetical example of weight of 15-year-old boys. So you can see here uh, I have the uh, diagram. The distribution of weight follows the normal distribution. So we have this normal curve or bell-shaped curve. Most boys are close to the average. So this is the average. You can see here. average and the value of standard deviation. So the standard deviation is 2.56, which indicates the typical distance that individual boys tend to fall from the mean weight. So the distribution is symmetric. The number of boys having lower weight than average equals the number of boys having more weight than average. So we have equal number of observations on both sides. This is first side and this is second side. We have equal number of observations uh, on both sides of the mean. If both tails of the distribution, in both tails of the distribution, extremely lower weight boys occur as infrequently as extremely high uh, weight boys. Now, what is the role of mean and standard deviation here? So if value of mean changes and standard deviation remains the same, entire curve shifts either rightward or leftward. So mean is our location parameter. Now our original mean uh, is 85.03. See this diagram. Now if mean changes from 85.03 to 89.75, the entire curve shifts rightward. So if the value of mean increases, normal curve shifts rightward. And if the value of mean decreases, normal curve shifts leftward. And that is why mean is a location parameter. Now, what happens to the normal distribution if standard deviation changes and mean remains the same? So this will change the width of the normal curve. So standard deviation is a scale parameter. Now, original standard deviation is 2.56. Suppose standard deviation increases from 2.56 to 5.778. So you can see the new uh, normal distribution or normal curve. So as standard deviation increases, this spreads out the width of the normal curve. And if the value of the standard deviation decreases, it tightens the width of the uh, normal curve. Now, what is the empirical rule? The empirical rule or the 68, 95, 99.7 rule tells where most of the values lie in a normal distribution. So here we have this uh, normal curve. 68% of the observations fall within plus and minus one standard deviation from the mean. You can see in the diagram. 
So 68% uh, observation, observations fall within this range. 95% of the observations fall within plus or minus two standard deviation from the mean. And 99.7% of the observations fall within plus or minus three standard deviation from the mean. Now let's understand this with the help of example. Let's assume that a taxi has a mean delivery time of 40 minutes and a standard deviation of four minutes. Using this empirical rule, we can determine that 68% of the delivery times are between X bar, that is mean plus or minus one standard deviation, that is 36 and 44 minutes. So 68% uh, 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 of the delivery times are between 36 and 44 minutes. 95% of the delivery times are between 32 and 48 minutes. That is mean plus or minus two standard deviation. And 99.7% of the delivery times are between 28 and 52 minutes. That is mean plus or minus three standard deviation. So that is the idea of normal distribution. If you like this video, kindly like, share, comment and subscribe. Thank you.